On this episode, someone's trying to get suggestions for games to work in a traditional bar, not a board game bar. So let's go ahead and see what we got. Hi, I'm Gary Pope from Late to the Table, and this is what should I get where we go on the board game subreddit and look under the daily personalized game recommendation to suggest games for players. So let's go ahead and start. So chicken fried games, <laughs> chicken, that sounds like it should be a, like a publisher's name. Uh, Gary, is that, does, does anyone have that name as a publisher? No, didn't think so. So someone should probably take the name. But anyways, Chicken Fried Games is looking for suggestions for their friend who runs a traditional bar. This is not a board game bar, this is a regular bar and they're trying to get games for them. Now I actually run bar events and one common rule when I'm actually dealing with these kind of events is, is it for non-gamers or for gamers? If it's for non-gamers, I go by these three strict rules. The game's gotta be very simple and quick and easy to learn from the rule book. The games cannot be confusing so if people are asking questions a lot while playing a game, it might not be the best suggestion. And games can't be super long either. They have to be 20 minutes or under, or if they're longer than 20 minutes, then it's got to be a situation where people can hop in and out whenever they want. So I literally keep a bag in my car that just has bar games. So let's go ahead and see what's in there. I got waterproof Uno, important one. A simple deck of cards, preferably waterproof. You got monikers, another great one. Fun employed, if people like role playing, this is a great one. Unusual suspects, which is basically prejudice the game, highly recommended. Literally every single code names works. Billionaire Banshee, adult but hilarious. The Spy Fall series is really good. Never have I ever. I actually surprisingly like this way more than Cards Against Humanity. Speaking of Cards Against Humanity, Cards Against Humanity. But if you're hip, you're probably gonna switch over to Joking Hazard instead. Humpty Dumpty the Wall Game. Surprisingly way better than Jenga in my opinion. And Giant Jenga. Literally anything giant works. Get Giant Connect 4, Giant, uh, Giant Chess, Giant Uno, Giant Tic Tac Toe, Giant, Monopoly, literally anything giant works. And if you're trying to find games for gamers, tell them to bring their own stupid games. And I was in that episode, what should I get? Be sure to ask your questions on the board game subreddit underneath the daily personalized game recommendation below. And this is Gary Pope from Late to the Table, and I hope you're enjoying your breakfast. I created so much clutter out here to do a walk off.